Hi kids, Nani has a special story for you today and it's all about a special new friend that we have that may look a little bit familiar to Luciana or maybe even Cole from the Go David books and the No David No books and the David Goes to School books. If you remember in those stories, there's always the little white dog. And today's book is all about David's little white dog. And the dog's name is Fergus. So hello, Fergus. Let's read all about you today. Good morning, Fergus. Want to go out? You know in the morning we always have to let our dogs outside to go to the bathroom. Well, in the morning, Fergus is really happy. So Fergus says, yes, I want to go outside. Ready, set, cat. Oh my goodness, I think Fergus has found a cat and he's so excited. He gets as excited as David gets and sometimes that we know that gets David in trouble. We'll see what happens to old Fergus. Okay, Fergie, time to go in. Come here, Ferg. Come on, boy. Fergus, come here, Fergie. Fergie, Fergie. Fergus McGloggin, you come here right now, please, Ferg. Come on. Let's go, boy. That's it. What's Fergie doing? It looks like he's smelling the flowers and the oak tree and the dandelions, and he doesn't even hear them calling for him to come in the house because Fergus is just so happy to be outside. And there's one other person looking down at Fergus. Can you tell me where he is? Yes, looks like a squirrel. Fergus in the book has a red collar, just like Fergus on the stick. Woohoo! Good boy, Fergus. I guess he's done outside and daddy's coming to have him come in the house. It's Mr. Fergus, Mr. Itchy Bobo Scratchity Man. And that's, look, you see Fergus down here at the bottom, scratching behind his ears. Have you seen the dogs do that? You certainly have. And have you ever, when they're on their back and there's always a tickle spot on a doggie, it's usually right under here in his belly. And you're rubbing, you're shaking his belly, and you go, does that feel good? And I bet Fergus loves to have his belly scratched. Who doesn't? Sit, Fergus. Down, Fergus. Roll over, Fergus. Good boy, Fergus. So Fergus does all the things that he's asked to do. He sometimes gets a cookie. See the milk bones? And that, and that looks like David's hand to me. So instead of Fergie being in David's books, it looks like David might be in Fergie's books. Awesome. Fergus, I told you, I just knew that he was going to be in as much trouble as David gets in. So we could pretty much say, no, Fergus, no. What is he doing here? Oh, my goodness. It seems he's torn up the flower pot. And how do you know Fergus did it? Oh, what's around his mouth? And maybe what's on his paws? Might look like the dirt in the flower pot. No, Fergus, no. Time for a bath because we can't have Fergus running through the house with dirt all over his mouth and his paws. And of course, Fergus probably doesn't want to have a bath, so he's hiding under the blanket. But I bet they find him because in the next picture, Fergus is going for a ride in the car. And what happens when he sticks his head out the window? Look, his face gets all fuzzy. How cute is that? And then sometimes when you're having dinner, what does Fergus do? He comes up and he begs for food. So we have to tell him, just like David, don't beg Fergus. 
Oh, all right. And before you know it, Fergus is eating spaghetti and meatballs too. Good, bye. Good boy, Fergus. Time for a walk? Oh, I think that Fergus would be very happy going for a walk. Look at how happy he's knocked over Daddy. And Daddy's got the leash in his hand. And the leash is red, just like Fergus' collar is red. And Fergus wants to go for a walk. Fergus, no, as he's going for a walk, he decides he wants to run after the motorcycle driving down the street, which is a very bad thing because Fergus doesn't know that that could hurt him very, very badly. So he wants to go for a nice walk. And when he's a good boy and when he walks, he says, his dad says, good boy, Fergie. What color is the car? Yellow. That's right. And what color is the fire hydrant? Red. Just like Fergus's collar and his leash. Good boy, Fergie. Dinner time. What's the problem? All right. So now we know we have a yellow car and a red fire hydrant, and Fergus in the book has a red collar, just like Fergus on the stick has a red collar. So apparently he was a good boy on the walk. And when he came home, Daddy wanted him to eat dinner, but it doesn't look like he's wanting to eat dinner. What's the problem? I know what the problem is. What is this? Mm-hmm. And what is happening to Fergus's food? Mm-hmm. That's whipped cream. Do you like whipped cream? Everybody likes whipped cream. And lo and behold, Fergus has got his head right in the bowl. And he's eating his dinner. That's not necessarily a good idea. But in this story, it's an okay kind of thing. Let me ask you another question. What color is Fergus's food bowl? Is it like his collar? Yes, it's red, just like the collar. So after, now Fergus has gone for a walk. He's gone outside to play. He's gotten into a little trouble in the flower pot. He's had a busy day. He's had a bath and he's had his dinner. What's next? Just like you, at the end of the day, Fergus has to go to sleep. Sweet dreams, little Fergus. Good boy. And that's the end of the story. And now it's time for this Fergus to go good night, just like you. Nani loves you.